Welcome to Wild of the World. We're still traveling through Asia and the last time you already saw how we got from Thailand to Indonesia on the island of Java. And this beautiful one is Bali. To be precise, we're standing on Nusa Lembongan. The Nusas are a group of islands that belong to Bali and after this one we're gonna visit Nusa Penida. So let's go and explore. So in the previous episode we dove into the Javanese culture. But now it's time for Bali and a lot of beautiful things around the island. The alarm clock was set very early today here in Sanur, Bali. Uh, and even if we didn't wake up on time, there were a thousand scooter bikes here in this street that made sure that I woke up early. Beep, beep. <laughs> and we're going to Nusa Lemungan now. Paradise, guys. In just half an hour we sail to the much quieter Lembongan. It looks like the Caribbean here, but in Asia. On the way from the harbor to our hotel, we immediately see how beautiful this island is from the truck. Although Bali is a very popular destination, it does not have to be expensive. We sleep here for only 20 bucks a night in these little huts behind me. This is called Abian Huts on Lembongan. This hotspot accommodation is located close to Dream Beach and this beach lives up to its name. What a dream destination! How great are these typical Bali style huts? I'll show you upstairs. Downstairs is the lounge area and upstairs this is the room. And outside here is the bathroom. Um, we have some high walls so nobody can see me on the crapper. The shower. Isn't this great guys? Just in the open air, in the nature. By far the easiest way to move around on the Nusas and on Bali in general is of course with a motorbike. So we rented one for about five bucks a day and we're gonna do some exploring. Let's see the island. Today, the friends we made in Thailand are coming along with us. Leonard and Marika already know their way around here. Right, guys, no? Nusa Lembongan is connected to Nusa Seningan through a bright yellow bridge. And that's the place we're heading first. By far the highlight of this island is the Blue Lagoon. Check this view. Time for a juice and a delicious mi goreng. Just on the other side we find Secret Beach. But don't tell anybody. I think I'm gonna go up here with the drone because this is also very pretty. Mm -hmm. 
The different shades of blue in the water are breathtaking here. The Nusas are rugged islands with heavenly beaches between the rocks. And just like Bali, this is a swinger's paradise. Uh, on the actual swing, I mean. Back on Lemongan, we chill at one of the many hip bars with fantastic views over the ocean. Good morning, guys. We slept like babies here in this bed with the three of us and it's a beautiful day again on Lemongan. How did you sleep Jens? <laughs> mm. Pretty fine! About a five minute walk from our hotel is a very special natural place. It's impossible to swim over here because the coastline is so rough that when the water hits the rocks, they create the devil's tears in the sky. And that's why they call this place with the splashes, the devil's tears. At the Devil's Tears we enjoy the natural forces of the rough ocean for an hour or so. And in those high waves we even see multiple turtles. We're all set on the motorbike with the whole family because we're going to visit one of the most beautiful beaches of Lembongan. Let's go! That beautiful beach I was referring to is called Jungut Batu. It's also a bit of the center of the island because in the alley behind here you can find the nicest restaurants, little shops and good hotels. With the drone we see how perfect this white beach is on the blue water. Those dark areas are seaweed farms. Long before the tourism came, this was the largest export product and still an important source of income here. Just like on Bali, Lemongan has many trendy restaurants with high quality lunch dishes. How can we end the day better than at the cozy sunset point? And from Lemongan we travel on. Next time you will see Nusa Penida, where we meet these giant manta rays. Ciao!